Well, it's December 7th, and I haven't posted an update in a while, basically because I haven't been home from November 15th to just about New Year's, so I've been gone for a while, but I wanted to uh, start where I left off, and that's on the, the headlight housings. Um, you can see this one I cleaned up, this one I have not. Now, one of my subscribers, Mountain Biker 50 sent me a message and a couple of pictures on how he had cleaned his up and he said he had just used a, a simple polish which I had some uh, in the house some of this chrome polish and at first I you know I, I put it in there and I hit it with a Dremel with a with a buffing pad on it and that seemed to work okay but what I found really really worked well I've got this for when you really got to clean up a, a dirty gun uh, with a little bit of surface rust on it or whatever the rifle i it's this i don't know what you call it four zero 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 steel wool and i put a daub of the the polish down there and i just you know worked it around like that and that steel wool cleaned it right up the camera doesn't pick up the the difference in the, the amount i guess shininess but maybe if we shine a flashlight over it you can kind of get an idea on it really does make uh make a big difference so I will clean the other one up and we'll be good to go well here is my sticker set from I think it's Maple Hunters out of uh, Texas and this is where I ordered my uh, new dashboard sticker for the case so they seem to be I mean, I don't know a lot about vinyl stickers, but they're definitely thick enough and sticky enough. That vinyl sticker uh, I put on the dash was seemed to be very good quality. So I can't remember how much the set was, um, but I remember thinking, you know, it wasn't too bad considering I don't know where else I would get something like this. So I'm gonna, I've got the hood on the table. Put some towels down. I'm going to get some uh, just regular water with just a little bit of Dawn dish soap in it. Um, and that's what I'm going to use to help me apply the vinyl stickers on. Hopefully it goes well. I'm a little nervous about this. Okay, I've prepped the surface and by prepping the surfaces I just cleaned it off. Um, I took the regular glass cleaner out of here and I just put a little bit of Dawn in and the dish soap and, and water in it. Um, they said the glass cleaner won't work for this because it has vinegar in it and that can lead to bubbling. So basically, now comes the nervous part. Oh, great. So I just spray this down. I'm thinking more is better when it comes to this. Peel off my sticker. In fact, I'm going to spray a little bit on this too while I'm at it. Come on. Come on. And I've got my laptop over here with uh, pictures of other case tractors pulled up just to in case I need any references. I didn't want that to happen, son of a bitch. That's all right. As I say, I don't mind using a little extra water. I don't care if it takes an extra day for this to dry. I just kind of want to be able to move it around once I put it on. Get it somewhat lined up here. It's starting to look pretty good. So I'll get it from the middle. I don't need to come back a little more. That's why you put so much water on it, so you can uh, take it off easily. Now if you wanted to, and I thought about it, you could get a grease pencil out and probably put some reference points. That looks pretty good right there. And I just want to check to see if this is on there. Okay, those lines, let me double check on here, I might have it up just a touch high, 
Um, but I don't think I'm going to worry about it. I think I'm going to let her go right there. Clip some of this paper off. That's weighing down the, the sticker. We got an old ID here. I'm just gonna try to work some of the water out. I don't see any bubbles because I did put enough water on it, I think. Work this down. In. This will help it adhere. See the water's really coming out from underneath there, which is good. I did get a bubble when I put the uh, dash decal on. I did get a, a couple of bubbles. That was really hard because you had to go around the steering column. And I did get a couple of bubbles on that. Um, and uh, I took a pin and popped the bubbles, and they shrank right down. You can't even tell that I poked it with the pin. There, that's that. Looks good. There is no bubbles whatsoever in the, the sticker part. I mean, you can see uh, these lines here are just in this paper part, but there's no, no bubbles in the sticker part. I will let that dry for a while. In fact, I, may, I might as well just let it dry overnight. And then you just peel this backing part off. So, easy peasy, one side done. Well, I got all the stickers on the hood. And they sure went on real easy. Um, pretty happy about that. But we'll see once they dry for a while and I peel off the, the paper on how they look. And we'll go from there. Well, the stickers are all looking good. I'll leave it here overnight. Um, very happy with it. Um, I say I'm. I don't know how well they're going to hold up over time, but they sure went on easy. As I say they're nice and thick, and they look good. So, as I say, that was a company out of Texas, Maple Hunters Decals, or or something. I know they make stickers. It's kind of a mom and pop organization but their shipping was pretty fast and they they seem to do pretty good work so I'm very happy with it I know they make stickers for all kinds of different uh, year tractors so Cub Cadets and John Deere's and whatnot and the cases so but very good I'm very happy with that well I wanted to show you guys how I remounted the hood okay obviously this is the original bracket down here you know, that's where the threaded rebar or the rod will go through to hinge the, hinge the hood. Um, I made, I just took a piece of flat stock, bent it at the right angle, welded uh, a little piece of pipe that's the same size on the top of it, and made it so it would fit through the um, fan shroud um, bolts right there. So that way most everybody on the internet they had seemingly welded something on here they welded i don't know a piece of you know box steel or angle iron or something like that they had actually welded it right to the frame but i thought this would be better 
because this way if I ever want to change the you know change the angle of this or the height of this or for whatever reason the the hood has to get repositioned and then there's nothing permanently welded uh, to my frame I can just take it out and uh, make adjustments so I'm gonna put all the the front end back together and get the hood on well there she is in all her glory stickers look good the headlights are the headlights look pretty good I took her down the road for about a total of about a half mile maybe my overall impressions are good it handles real nice motor strong of course um, I just had it in low I didn't put it in high gear when I took it for one of my other rides I put it in high gear and it's kind of dangerous fast like crazy fast so I'm definitely gonna have to get the chains and wheel weights on real soon it, uh, these tires are horrible on the ice and snow absolutely horrible um, I'm, you know, I'm over 200 pounds, and it's like I'm not even on there for weight. So I think the wheel weights I'll add down there close to 100 pounds. Get the chains on there, and then I'm gonna I'm gonna look into loading the tires. See if I can't do that here in the garage. Um, not really sure how I'll do it. Maybe get some kind of little transfer pump, hand pump thing, and load the tires up, and that should give me a lot of extra weight. Other than that, I'm uh, pretty happy with it.